Hi everyone, welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Rebecca Red. On today's episode, we're in Labrador, chasing after the legendary, beautiful Labrador Brook Trout. I'm at Crooks Lake Lodge. Stay with us, it's gonna be an absolutely fabulous show. <laughs> Let him go back to live. live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Islander Precision Reels, Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet, Net Staff, the world's first waiting staff and net. On today's show, the new Fly Fisher crew visits Crook Lake Lodge, located 60 miles southeast of Goose Bay, Labrador, on the famous Upper Eagle River watershed, just south of the Mealy Mountains. Here you can experience the ultimate in trophy eastern brook trout fishing in one of Canada's last unspoiled frontiers. Our host for this trip is Bill Murphy, owner of Crooks Lake Lodge. We are here at prime dry fly season and Bill has promised us lots of action. Our strategy is simple. We are here at the best time for dry fly fishing and the fish will make it easy to know where to cast. Simply cast to rising fish making sure you have a drag-free drift. Here we go. Wonderful job. All right. See, I gotta keep this line super tight. Actually, that's a really nice fish. Just let them kind of play themselves out a little bit. Is that what your, uh, your advice you is? should, yes. Let them. Okay, keep my rod tip up high. Her tip up. I'm just going to kind of bring myself past the net here. We have pretty decent drag on this. I mean, it's he can go if he wants to. Okay, we're going to go around the cameraman. Woo. Don't trip on these rocks. Oh my gosh. All right. Boy, he's making us work. Come on, big guy. Come on, poor girl. Thank you very much. Look at this. Look at that beautiful Labrador brook trout. And my first one on a boat, kind of like a, a royal patterned, uh, a size 12 fly. Okay. Beautiful Labrador brook trout. Mm. Colors are spectacular. Breathe. Perfect. Um. Perfect. Now I want to go get a lot more. Thank you very much, sir. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, the lodge, we started this lodge 22 years ago. I sort of researched the area up here. I used to fly around and did my research on different parts of, uh, of, of Labrador, or the, this part of Labrador. And I so settled on the, on the Eagle River because historically, uh, it's one of the better and most prolific uh, fishing areas in Labrador. And the Eagle River has been, has been uh, 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 touted as being one of the better fly fishing and, and uh, trout fishing rivers, I guess in, in, in Canada for sure. The lower part of it is salmon, but up by the upper watershed, we have the, uh, we have the trout and northern pike as a byproduct. Yeah. Lee Wolf started fishing in here years and years ago, he said that, you know, it's one of the most magnificent rivers in Labrador. So I said, why well, not? If Lee Wolf said it, 
I guess I can't go wrong by building a place here. It's so important that when you go fishing to an area you've never fished before, make sure you pack every fly possible. You never know what they're gonna eat. So you just can match the hatch and keep trying what works. We've been uh, catching them on uh, a royal stimulator pattern in the morning and now it's absolutely the opposite right now. They're on onto all kinds of other uh, naturals and I just can't seem to match the hatch right now. So hopefully we'll find what they want to eat. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good job. Oh, it was almost on the countdown. Beautiful. Now, oh. okay. If you got two, if you got two, you can work down around the, oh. ah. And there we go. Gone. Well, we know that fly works. That was a nice fish. So every time you hook into a hard fighting fish, make sure you check your knot afterwards. You wanna make sure that knot's still good and for your next fish. The setup I used on this trip for trout was a weighted forward floating line and attached to that was a leader the same length as my rod. In this case, my rod was nine feet long, so my leader was the same length. The leader tapered down to a 5X tippet and attached to that was my dry fly. Crooks has a healthy population of pike and the setup we used for them was an intermediate sinking line with three feet of 20 pound test monofilament. It was necessary to attach another 12 inches of knottable wire bite tippet to that and then the fly. as it's gonna go. Yeah, I just give him constant strain. He's fighting his heads down. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. Woo. oh, that's that's a sigh of relief right there. In the net, that's what I like to see. Wow, what a beauty. All right, George, give me a second here. I'm gonna get off, off my rock here. Let me take a look at this beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, I am speechless. This is absolute treat. What a treat. Let's put my glove on here. Let's take a look at this beauty. This one that made me work pretty hard. Come here, sweetheart. Wet my hands. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at this beautiful fish. And it's a nice buck. Look at that kite on the jaw. See that hook? It means it's a male. I'm just gonna let them breathe. And this is exactly, exactly what I was hoping for. This made my whole trip right here. There we go. Taking my five pound Labrador brook trout. Thank you very much, beautiful. I you were gonna kiss it. I was gonna kiss it. Mwah. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Crooks Lake Lodge. And thank you, George. Thank you. Pleasure. That just made my trip right there. The meal here, we, we, have, uh, we have a cook on staff, uh, and he prepares uh, home-cooked meals. He'll do three, three meals a day, and this is all he does, just, you know, cooks for the, uh, for the guests. And it's the usual stuff, you know, steaks, roasts, uh, turkeys, anything 
And if you really want special foods, we'll have that ordered ahead of time for you. We can have it brought in. You bring most of the, any, any beverages or whatever, you can, you, you know, you, it, it's on, uh, you bring yourself. You pick that up in Goose Bay before you come in, but there's no problem with weight, or there's no problem with picking things up in Goose Bay. fishing just around the bend from the camp, little feeder creek, nice little rapids bringing in a lot of food source for these fish. I'm trying to fish the edges, so the edges of the rock, the edges of the bank. Uh, fishing the edges is very important when trying to figure out where these fish are feeding. It's typically uh, where all the food sources are going to gather is, are the edges. So I've got a streamer on right now and I'm just stripping in about one inch sections, a little bit more. So I'm fishing with a steel tippet because there's pike in this water along with the big brook trout. So I want to make sure that I keep my fly. If I do uh, catch a pike, I do want my fly back. Pike on. That's a pretty decent size too. He came right up like an alligator. Yep. Oh, come on. He's still gonna bolt, I know he is. That's why you have these good fighting butts on these rods, so they can do this. <laughs> You little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. That's a good fighting fish right there. That's a good fighting fish. All right. Here he is here. Going in the wood. You know what? For such a small pike, that is a good fight. Good fight. Woo, feisty. Uh, nice pike. Yeah, he's pretty good. A large pike. Pretty good. On a barbless streamer with a stinger hook. My trusty guide is doing me the honors of getting it out of the net. You gotta watch those teeth on those guys. Oh, that's a nice pike. Very nice. Show me those teeth that we want to prevent from getting. There you go. See this? There's all those sharp little jagged teeth at the top. That's exactly what takes your fly if you don't have a nice uh, steel tippet. Perfect, let's get him go, here he goes. <laughs> Short of when I'm fishing dry flies, I always use wire bite tippet when fishing in Labrador. The pike are everywhere and will bite you off in a second. Razor sharp teeth tear through monofilament like a knife through butter. The wire product I use can be tied in most fishing knots the same as monofilament leaders. Nautable wire bite tippet can be obtained in spools at most of your tackle shops. So right now I'm stripping in this popper as a little faster than normally like you would for bass, um, pike or predatorial fish. And uh, as soon as they hear that splash and that movement on the surface, that's gonna attract them to it. So quick jerks, it's gonna cause that splash in front of the popper it's gonna attract the predatorial fish such as pike to your fly. Just a little froggy making his way. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> 
Not tip up. There we go. And my trusty guy has got that net ready. Now he's going to run a little bit. This is a cool colored looking pike. There we go. About the same size as the last one. This guy had less energy though. He's gonna hang on to it. Oh, perfect. There we go. Nice. Nice Labrador pike right here. So I really enjoyed my time here at uh, Crooks Lake Lodge. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, the guides are super accommodating. The food was great. And uh, the fishing is, is enjoyable, challenging, um, rewarding. Big brook, brook trout, um, you know, five and six pound brook trout is something we don't get an opportunity to catch at home. And uh, all the pike you want, lots of pike, that was fun. The time had come and the main hatch was on. I couldn't believe how many fish were rising. Very nice take. We have, we have a fish coming towards you, George. Keep your tip up. Yeah, tip is. I can't see the tightly water. up. He is just cruising water right now. This morning. He is cruising. Keep her up. Here we go. And we're just gonna try and bring him over to the Keep net here. Keep your tip up. Keep your tip up. Yes, sir. Up. Keep the tip up. All right. Mr. George, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Well, sir, what a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Look at this. This is what you come to Labrador for. Crooks Lake has not let me down. And it just goes to show you, try all kinds of different flies. Versatility pays off. You really kind of inhaled that, didn't you, sweetie? There we go. Another Crooks Lake brook trout. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful female. And she wanted to go. The flies we used on this trip were mostly the same dry flies you would use on your local trout stream. We used the sofa pillow, black gnat, generic stripped quill dry fly, green drake extended body, spent wing spinner. The streamers we used were a lipped minnow pattern, orange bunny leech, and yellow poppers. what they were eating. This guy liked that little fly. Okay, he's gonna take me for a ride. His head's down. I'm gonna try and keep this rod tip up. We're going with the current right now. Oh, and watch where I'm walking. It's craggy old rocks underneath me. All right. Okay, so he's gonna give me his head a little bit here. Yep, okay. Oh, please don't go near that rock. All right, George, he's coming one closer to you. You can bring his head up here. Get around that rock. Whew. Yeah, he's got his nose down, so. The tip is up as high as I can put it. And we're just gonna bring him to you. All right. Whoo, whoo, 
always a feisty one. Oh, careful. <laughs> Don't you fall in the water as well. Oh, that fish had a lot of power. Very good. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, what another beautiful fish. Come here, sweetheart. There we go. Oh, nice female. Female, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Look at the color. All right, George, I'm just gonna get you to hold that rod. We'll give some slack in this line and we're gonna let her go. This will be over before you know it. There we go. There go. Get rid of that fly. There we go. She gave me a nice fight. And I'm not gonna let her go until she's ready. There you go, I can feel her. Thank you, Crooks Lake Lodge. Here I am, beautiful Labrador. I like to say thank you everyone for watching another episode. We'll see you next week. For more information, check out www.thenewflyfisher.com. See you again. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the New Fly Fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook. <laughs>